Luigi is got a small tailor shop next to this high class numero uno restaurant. Five stars, not uh, five, Gibral, five stars. So where they got okay, the one over here was the bigger name. What's his name? Michelina. He's another Michelina. It's a Gibraltar. Gibraldi, Garibaldi, that's the one. Anyhow, he's a sit over there having a lunch every afternoon, and he has his lunch. He's got a piece of bread, he's got a piece of cheese, and he, maybe he's got a meatball one day, the next day he's got a piece of salami, and next door is this wonderful Italian restaurant. Of, he's, his, he's in a French, French Italian, he doesn't even know, but the smells. Every day, the smells that come from the kitchen in the next door, and He's wonderful. He's enjoying his food, making believe he's eating this high-class food. And one day, the manager from this high-class restaurant, he comes over and he gives gives him a bill. He says, "But well, what, what, what is this for?" He says, "Well, you're sitting here and you're enjoying the smell of my food. What am I cooking over here? You gotta pay for this." He says, "Maka, what do you mean I gotta pay? You gotta pay." He says, "I'm not gonna pay. I'm gonna take you to court. I'm gonna take you to court and sue you for smelling my food and eating." He says, "But take me to court." They go to court. The judge says, what's the meaning of this? He says, I come and I sit down in my backyard and I smell the food from this next door of the restaurant, which is a nice. And he wants to charge me for smelling the food. He says, what do you got to say to that? He says, what do I got to say for that? I, I put my hand in my pocket and I take the two coins and I rub them together. And he says, what does that mean? He says, what does that mean? It, it's mean that... He's got the smell. Of, I got the smell of his food. Now he's got the taste, smell of the sound of my money in my pocket. Go and enjoy, my God.